Hello guys, uh, create tutorials here. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you um, how to how to do like useful shortcuts in After Effects. Uh, so yeah, just do it. So uh, I have uh, I have a clip here, a quarry clip. And one thing, if you don't know, if you want to import something, you can go to uh, file uh, import file or you can just double click here in this area so yeah that's easy just drag it to a new comp um, so what you can do is just if you want to make a new comp you can click ctrl m I think it was right ctrl n and like this this n Like that, that and uh, okay, so yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so if you want to split the clip here, just click Control Shift D, and if you want to undo that, click uh, Control C or Z, uh, like yeah, you know, Z, uh, yeah. So if you want to see the audio or the like the waveform click first uh, of if you want to see the audio audio click l to see the audio with levels and if you want to see the waveform click ll to see the waveforms waveforms um then you can click control c control v to copy the clip the whole clip and just click control c to undo that and if you wanna uh, duplicate it, it's exactly as Control Shift Control D, but it's easier. Or Control C Control V, I mean. But yeah, if you wanna duplicate, click Control D. <sighs> um, okay, so is there anything else? Okay, guys, uh, this doesn't work for me, but you can click Alt and uh, first bracket and then you can just do something but I don't know how Baker did that I, uh, yeah I can do it uh, what, whatever uh, then if you wanna if we say uh, I have I have my timeline here and I wanna drag this uh, like here and make it if you make it easier for yourself click uh, hold shift and just, if you drag it it like snaps on there like if you doesn't if you don't hold shift it like this and if you hold shift it's yeah it like snaps there so that's a really useful thing to do um, so what you can do also is just if we mask this ugly thing here um if you want to see the mask you can click mm um if you want to see the yeah if you want to see the mask settings click mm and then you have a bunch of settings here but yeah uh okay uh so if you want to bring up the rotation just click R for rotation remember that that's a good good thing to remember and then S for scale and then uh, what do we have um, P for position and here you can use keyframe or whatever uh, and if you wanna bring up all of them on the same time you can hold uh, like wait. okay if you click on the clip and click P and then you hold shift and click R and scale and you show all of them um, yes that's a useful things um, and let's say if we add a bunch of effects here just some random things glow and then some CC lens if I add that on uh, some dried sounds. Okay. Um, 
then if we keyframe the size from there and then we we'll go yeah one thing one thing guys uh, if you wanna go 10 frames forward you hold control shift and then the right arrow key and if you want to go like back you can click the like the left arrow key so it goes like this like 10 frames 20 frames 30 frames and then uh, if you want to see these keyframes on the CC lens that we keyframed for a few minutes ago um, then you can click U on your keyboard to see the you have to see the, only the keyframes it's a really smart thing to do I use it a lot um, and you can just drag down whatever you want like so it's yes now I've done something um, yeah if you only want to see the effects you can click E and then you have all the settings here um, yeah is there anything left uh, if you wanna hear the audio without uh, RAM previewing all the time uh, then you can ha then you can hold control and skip through then you hear like if you go here uh, it's a little bit skippy but you can hear and uh, I use that a lot and then if you want to go like frames over like uh, like just just frames like this without uh, clicking here all the time uh, you can hold control and click on the arrow keys to move forward really nice thing to do um, yeah is there anything left yeah then just this adjustments layers and you can do uh, control alt and y like that and you make a adjustment layer but I don't use that a lot but yeah guys I think that's it oh yeah yeah I forgot uh, T is for opacity so that's good to know also so uh, yeah yeah I think I'm going to end there I don't think it's that much more 8 minutes um, but yeah guys please leave a comment if you learned something in this tutorial um, I will see you in the next tutorial so yeah bye guys